The fire extinguisher is a simulated ABC type of fire extinguisher, uh, able to utilize both the hand and also the nozzle for application. The virtual reality portion of it is the headset with the view that's interior that then is also shown on the screen. As it goes on the uh, student's head, they're able to see everything that's going on, select the type of extinguisher that they have available for them, and put the fire out. The differences into what's being put out, what, what type of fire you have, what type of fire is being, uh, uh, what type of fire extinguishing agent is being applied, and also the ability to change it over from student to student to different materials versus actually starting that stuff on fire. The, uh, probably the most important thing is the environmental portion of it because of the doing plastics on fire. Doing it all inside of a classroom. Right. You could have 30 students come by and go through this much quicker than you could 10 students outside with a pan fire. With the fire, there are many, many different types of fires, and with that, there are many, many different types of fire extinguishers, okay? So what you're going to be dealing with is a, an ABC fire extinguisher, okay? So that deals with a type materials which are natural combustibles like paper products, cottons, those type of things. Mm -hmm. A B fire is more of a flammable liquid fire. A C fire is an electrically charged fire. Okay. So if we eliminate the electricity, the fire is now either a class B or a class A, dependent upon what's still burning. Okay? okay. So the fire extinguisher you have in your hand is a multi-purpose extinguisher able to put out fires A, B, and C type. Okay? Okay. So, I now you can see... Water on I want you to fires. share with water on Chelsea. Okay, just right. to see what happens. Great. Okay, so what's, what do you think is going to happen? It will not go out. <laughs> you're actually going to make a better call for the fire department. Oh, no, really? Yeah, because you're going to have a, a structure fire. Oh, great. Oh, my! <laughs> That's what happens? <laughs> Yeah, because what happened is you threw water on it, it reacted, and yeah. splashed the flame everywhere. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, bad juju. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to lobby. I'm going to be less than less, don't put water on a fat fire. Right? Okay. Stop so, and rolling on that. Yeah, pretty much. So now the CO2 is dry ice, and it'll, it'll take away the uh, components, the, com the oxygen that's happening. It'll displace the oxygen, so you yeah. can try CO2 and see what that does. Got to get up close and personal. There you go. Inside the, the base of the fire. Sweep it. There we go. Bam. bam a -lama. Yeah, it's just cold now. You've cooled it out. Okay, and now what we're going to try, did you notice any residue left over from that fire? Any extinguishing agent left over? No, because it should have evaporated. Right, because it's CO2. CO2. It's 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 yeah. a um, it's it's dry ice. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to try the the dry chem, which is the one on oh, there. You go. Chem. Wet chem. Wet yeah. chemical. Okay, see what that does. What I did in my kitchen. Remember? You use the wet chem one. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, get up close and personal. Oh. Okay. Oh wow! Well, that's good. Okay, is it done? Uh huh. Okay. That was way quicker. <laughs> 